I'm off out now, love. Your, your food's on the table. A lot of clients are overwhelmed by the reality of our work. So if there's any real trouble or you just don't feel satisfied with what you see, then you can press the screen on the table and our technicians will be with you in an instant. Good luck. Can you see me? Yes, I am well aware of you. I've never done anything like this before. I've never needed help. I understand you've been having some trouble recently. Perhaps you could explain it to me. Can you read? Yes, I am an excellent reader, like you. Leonard, you are ill. It, yes, it's been it's been getting worse. I left my dog. Toby. I locked him in the shed for three weeks without food and water. I forgot he was even there. And had me ringing vets, rescue centres, all sorts. I couldn't bring myself to tell her that I found his body next time I went in there to clean. He'd been clawing and biting at the door for days. I can't let Anne see me like this. Are you ever overwhelmed by the prospect of science, Leonard? What do you mean? Well, for example, science has taken us to every planet in our solar system, and recently even further. And science has also put you in this situation today, whereby you are able to sit across a table from an identical version of yourself and talk openly about your life. Yet science can't change your situation, and ultimately you will die. Science cannot fix the human mind. I need you to start soon. I can't go home after today. Where will you go? Oh, I've got an old place by the sea. Beautiful view. Oh, just stay there till my time's up. I just need you to take good care of Anne. She needs you now. She's stunning, isn't she? Who? Anne? Yes. Here she is. This one is from 1982. Can you believe that? Where did you get that photograph? Well, my developers, of course. In this bag, I have everything I need for when I leave. Suitable clothing, crossword puzzles, and keys to the house. My house. 46 Albert Road. That is where I will continue with my life. And now I have a question for you, Leonard. Oh, and what might that be? Do you remember the first time you met Anne? 
Um, I think it was the S Sunday Book Club in 84. Wrong. It was 1981. The Seaside Cafe. You went there on three occasions, each time to attract her attention. The first two times failed dramatically, especially after you spilled hot tea over your new woolen sweatshirt, which you bought specifically to impress her. She never really noticed you until the third and final time, when you ultimately decided to assert yourself and approach her at the counter. You politely asked her for her name and whether she was available for a date. She obliged. Later that week, you met her by the beach, all suited up. She only wore her casual clothes, as I assume, for her, it was only a casual event. You talked for hours, six and a half to be exact. You both had an extraordinary amount of fun, laughing and joking to the point where it hurt. This was followed by 30 minutes of hand-holding in complete silence. You were at ease for the first time in your life. And that was it. How in God's name do you know every detail of my life? Leonard, that is a senseless question. You must know that I have a better memory than any human could ever have. Can you feel emotion? Could you love Anne? It is my duty to replicate emotion, such as love. <laughs> Take this. Do you know what it is? A symbol of eternal love, am I correct? Yes, yes, but it's probably best to call it a wedding ring. Anne will kill you if she catches you without it. Uh, other hand, this finger. Now I have something for you, Leonard. But first, another question. Okay. When was the last time you saw your wife? It, it, it was this morning before I left. And you made her tea and sandwiches? Mm, yes. And you forgot to put the bread back in the cupboard? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That was six years ago, Leonard. 2027. Anne is dead. Don't be ridiculous. We, we spoke this morning. Anne has been dead for exactly six years. I think we're finished here. I'm calling the staff. Pressing that button will only complicate matters, Leonard. I understand you are in denial, but please sit for a moment. you could consider my existence a reflection of yourself. No, that means nothing now. If I've lost Anne, what good are you to me? I have nothing to save. Save me. If you don't, they'll box me up. I don't want to fail, Leonard. Fail? This is my only opportunity to experience life. The world may have nothing to offer you now, but I want to smell, touch and taste it like you have done all these years. I want to feel alive. You believe in God and the afterlife, Leonard. You don't have to let your illness define you. And we'll be waiting.
see for yourself.